my Shazam to MP3 shortcut has reached more than a hundred thousand downloads. Uh, this shortcut is for iPhone, iPad, or Mac. So I also made a Windows version <clears throat> to download uh, your entire Shazam library um, songs uh, to MP3 on your Windows PC. So let me sh using this uh, Windows 11 built-in app, Power Automate Desktop. So let me show you how to get this uh, flow uh, and get it from from here. Uh, this will show you how it works. This it also works for Windows 10. You, you need to download this app. Uh, for Windows 10, it's a building app in Windows 11. So you just uh, copy the code or download text and just copy the code. Do you open this uh, Power Automate app? Just get a new app, new flow, build a new flow, and give it a name. Shazam, you just Shazam MP3. Just create it. Like slowly, let me just. I have just uh, copy the actions. Let me just type, right click and uh, select paste. Uh, well, it's not working, so let me create a. You know, try to download the text. Let me just download the text. Open the text file. Select them all and copy this code here and try to paste it again. Oh, now it's populate. So when you get this flow, there's something you need to change. So if you're here, uh, it's here. Read from CSV file. This file path you should change it to where you save the. So I just then you go to. Shazam.com and go to my library. You need to log in so you see the library and it, it download as CSV. Just download it. Open the folder. Press Shift and right click. You see the copy as path. You go to here and check. Change it. Uh, remove the quotes. Tap C. And one more thing. Scroll down to the bottom. You see here. Down destination download from web destination folder. You can change this. Uh, folder where you want to save the mp3 files so by default is the C drive users public music I'm just uh, leave it be so let me just run it of course you can also edit your CSV file if you want to manually uh, Manually remove some of the tracks or add a few more. You can just uh, add the title and artist. You need just just only need to add the title, column, and the artist. So this will download. 
let me just run this float to see if it works tip here to run it so you would download to C drive users public music uh, it's here already down the one song you see my library here at sherry uh -huh. uh, another one sorry I couldn't skip this uh, third one So this one is downloaded okay, and play with VLC. Okay, also, this is only for test. If I have more songs, it will automatically download them in one go. Well, the as you see there sometimes you may you may try a few times to paste the actions here paste the code here so you will populate as uh, actions here and you can change or edit or the actions for your preference so if you have any questions you can just uh, join my telegram group and you can send a screenshot or so we can so we can help you to solve the, the problems okay that's pretty much it for this video hope you find it helpful as always thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one